it represents their character, nobility. It represents a character. And so that child who was named Wade by his parents, named him Wade. I'm, I'm going to be moving around so you're going to be up and down. <laughs> uh, his parents named him Wade because Wade meant one who, who treads through difficult matter like snow or mud or garbage or ignorance. And so I came from heaven to be the one who treads through ignorance to allow us to see the glory of who we are. I was initiated in Nigeria in Ifa, named me Ifa Bemi. Ifa Bemi means Ifa blesses me. And I was named Shango Dari. And Shango Dari means that Shango protects me. I have a duality of being. And sometimes my relatives say, that's just because you're a Gemini. But that's, that's surface level. I have a duality of being. I have Ifa, the spirit, blessing me. And I have Shango, the warrior, the fire, the fire, the fire protecting me. So I want to speak from who I am. And I want to do that by, by helping you to have your divorce. I've been kind of my remarks, Africa, the issue of culture, and the restoration of our way. And I may be moving over there because while I was born in 1836 in this incarnation, my 1925 guys don't work to do. Can you lower the lights so maybe they can see this better? I think someone told me that would happen. But what I want to share with you is a statement, a principle. And that principle is that the fundamental task and challenge of the African Centered Scholar, we're making a break, an African Centered Scholar intellectual is to defend and promote the interest in the image of Africa and Africa's children by understanding our past, and our past doesn't begin with slavery, understanding our past, our present, and our future of our human story. That's the piece that we got to rescue. Our human story, not slave story, not this, this, this captain in, in England and don't know who you are, or captain in America and don't understand who you are, but what is our human story through the Africanization of the epistemological, and some people charge me using big words, but understand that in five minutes. You know the word that this is MF? You know the word mother? Mm -hmm. You all know that word, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That word has the exact same numbers as epistemology. Mm -hmm. But when you say MF, black folks say, yeah, okay. I'm gonna be upset. You say epistemology, they say, why are you using big words? Yeah. It's the same words. Words are just tools. They're tools for how we come to understand. If we use the wrong words or the wrong concepts, we confuse ourselves. And so this notion of epistemology has to do with how you know what you know. And this word that has to do with terminology has to do what concept do you place on your understanding of reality. And the word about aesthetic has to do with the beauty. The sister that just came in dance, that was our aesthetic. That was not a little stiff ballet and ballet that you look tight and you curtsy and you flip around. No, but even though that's, that's pretty for somebody, that was not our aesthetic. We have an aesthetic. And so we have to ground our scientific, artistic, and investigative discourse in our understanding of the world.